activities, all the improvements, all the deliver, all, all the um, some different path that uh, have been going. I'm quite actually excited about, excited to see that uh, more. For instance, that helped us a lot. Which sites are using Joomla? It it makes quite much easy for our lives to go to a client and say, hey guys, look, Palm is using Joomla, and those guys are using Joomla. I mean, look, it's a reliable platform. Yeah. But it wasn't there before. Uh, so now it's very actually helpful for the whole community and I'm very happy to see that uh, that it's actually happening in a much uh, faster pace and much wider scale. Yeah, and there are many very interesting uh, things coming up in Joomla. Mm. There are some things I know, whoa, <laughs> it makes the difference. It really does. That's that's great. Uh, can you name other companies than Rocket Team, or is it only uh, the biggest uh, elephant in the room? I think th there are a huge amount of template clubs that make money. Uh, I, I think at least ten that you could name that that, that really make money. But I think uh, there are differences how they make it the money and how they support their templates and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that uh, that Joomla Shack was one of the the first. Um, uh, product acquisitions that we saw in the Joomla community where an investor came in and, and purchased uh, Joomla Shack, the, the company, it was actually a foreign investor, uh, because you, when you looked at the numbers and the profitability, it was something that uh, you know had a lot of you know growth opportunity in our Joomla community. Yeah, so, they're doing great, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, for instance, I've been in Joomla ecosystem for a long time, and I didn't know that Joomla Shack was a guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah well, for instance, exposing such kind of things, or maybe it's already there, it, it, it helps uh, uh, a lot actually right. to see uh, what you can do, what you can, uh, what you can achieve. For instance, if uh, Matthias Mirko or uh, Janne knows that, hey, I could create something that could be in get invested or that could get acquired at some point. This helps a lot, uh, I believe. Um, any other companies you guys have in mind, or do you think that Kunana will be the next one? <laughs> well, it isn't. I know that for us. <laughs> Why so, actually? Uh, uh, well, uh, is the, it the main Finnish humbleness. Uh, well, the main issue is that uh, I'm mostly a technical guy who does the, all the work behind it. Uh, of course, I'm the brains also because I'm the most active in the project. Uh, but uh, I need someone who says to me, "You need to make some money too." <laughs> uh, well, we have we have very we have some plans how to how to make some money, but uh, I'm not the one who can actually make it true. I need some other people to sure, do sure. that for me. I think I think that's a very good point. Uh, I think many great products start from technical people. They simply do something that they had a problem about. They create a product, and it gets such a good traction that. It just becomes a community, however business might like. But uh, Matthias, good news is that business people are e easiest to find. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, there it's are just more the business people because finding technical people or like such kind of uh, visionary people is harder than finding a sales guy. Yeah, uh, just uh, you have to ask someone to join. Uh, and hey, I have such kind of a thing: five hundred thousand members or sites. I mean, five uh, I think it's underestimated. Mm -hmm. underestimated mm -hmm. a number because. We have something like the last time I looked, it was uh, 20 million hits. No, it was more. Uh, I mean, if that kind of a product them. was in my hands, I would be in Hawaii having a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> or, or you wouldn't have that product, that product at all. But uh, well, uh, us usually uh, the question is the time. Uh, if you are, uh, well, we have a good team, uh, but everyone has been so busy because uh, we have so much success, we have so much, so many users, uh, we need to uh, spend a lot of time for our users and for development also. Sure, sure. Uh, so uh, the issue is sometimes is that uh, you just, uh, like me, I have taken myself from neck <laughs> and said, oh, now it's enough, I need to uh, stop and think where I'm going to sure. be in next year, and I'm actually I'm hoping to use this also to make uh, uh, make uh, connections to people because I'm reaching out uh, for people. Uh, do you want to make money with me? 
Yeah, I think that's that's I think a very uh, good approach because uh, you have such kind of a product that you could influence other uh, Joomla developers and uh, yeah, I know a lot of developers. In yeah. Joomla. Uh, one thing uh, I think we are almost uh, out of our time uh, as we are trying to activate all together the uh, Finnish uh, Joomla community. One thing we had a very short chat with Janne was that uh, I think as a small, we're gonna be always small community. Uh, based on our demographics. Uh, but uh, we can also have a very uh, passionate and close community. We were thinking about small entrepreneurs coming together, uh, making a small uh, initiative where we can support each other and actually help each other to grow their businesses. Because uh, why not? Uh, the uh, startups actually quite hot in Finland or in the world, not as much as, as developed as US, but we hope to bring uh, small entrepreneurs together, uh, discuss if we need resources, if we need some business help, if we need some ideas, discuss together and actually make it happen. Because uh, two is better than one, five is better than two. So uh, I think that would be a very good initiative and hopefully uh, we're going to make something about it and we're going to uh, invite interested people. And if any of you are interested, please. Uh, yes. And uh, I think this needs two words of background. Uh, I have a question about uh, the size of uh, Joomla, Joomla business in Finland in general. Uh, I'm uh, Vesa Palmo and uh, I'm a CEO of Meara, a uh, Drupal business, Drupal shop. We have 30 people working with Drupal and I'm also a board member of Drupal Association Global. So my guess for like Drupal business in Finland would be between two and 300 developers and uh, something like 30 million euros of revenues every year at the moment. I'm not brave enough to, to guess the global business size at the moment, but it's probably pretty big. That's cool business. Uh, I mean, even local. Anyone brave enough to take a guess on, on what size uh, of the Joomla business would be globally or in Finland? Um, actually, from my business point of view, I can make uh, our revenue estimates yearly is a couple of million euros. So, uh, and we are three people. Um, so I, we are brave enough to estimate such kind of things because we have 100,000 users, uh, we can convert some of them.